In this video, we're going to show you how to create music using samples inside your computer using Reaper. There are an infinite number of ways for you to be creative with samples, and this video will demonstrate just some of the techniques at your disposal. So feel free to experiment during this tutorial and beyond. Below this video, we've provided you with a link which you can use to download the samples or sounds that we'll be using in this video so that you can work along with this tutorial step by step. Please click on the link below to begin the download. On Windows, open your File Explorer and go to your Downloads folder. Once the download is complete, right click on the zipped folder and select Extract All. Ensure that Show Extracted Files when complete is checked and hit Extract. On a Mac, open your Finder and go to the Downloads folder. Once the download is complete, please double click on the zipped folder to unzip it. We recommend moving this folder to your document so that you don't accidentally delete the samples if you clear out your Downloads folder. On Windows, I'm going to create a new folder and name it Samples and copy the Focusrite samples into that folder. That way, if you download samples in the future, you can just add them to this samples folder. On a Mac, I'm going to create a new folder and name it samples and copy the Focusrite samples into that folder. That way, if you download samples in the future, you can just add them to this samples folder. All of the samples in this pack were kindly provided by Amplify Sounds. You can find out more about Amplify and their range of iOS applications at amplifymusic.com. There are two types of samples that you'll find in this folder, loops and one-shots. Loops are pieces of music like a drum beat or a melody, and you can use these loops as building blocks when creating your tracks. We can quickly identify loops in this sample pack because they have the tempo information in the file name. For example, 105 BPM. On a PC, double click on a loop, like this drum loop, to listen to it. On a Mac, single click on one of the loops and press spacebar to preview the loop. One-shots, on the other hand, are individual sounds, like a single drum hit or a single bass hit, which you can use to build up your own patterns. As mentioned earlier, you can identify the loops quickly because they have tempo information in the file name, for example, 174 BPM. One-shots don't have this information. You may have noticed that these packs also contain a musical key in their folder name. To make things easy in these packs, all of the samples that contain pitch information, like bass lines, vocals, and melodies, are all in the same key. For example, in the Jazzy Electronic Pack, all of the bass lines, vocals, and melodies are in C minor. In other sample packs that you'll find online, the individual samples will contain pitch information in the file name, because they'll likely be a mixture inside the pack. Now open Reaper. Earlier, we showed you how to set your Scala as the audio device in Reaper. That means that we'll be able to listen to what's playing back from Reaper through either headphones or speakers connected to our Scala. To recap, go to Options, Preferences. In the menu on the left-hand side, find Audio and then Device just below. On a PC, set the audio system to ASIO and then select Focusrite USB ASIO. On a Mac, select your Scala in the Audio Device drop-down menu, and then exit the Preferences. Double-click five times in this empty gray space to create five tracks. 
Now, open your file browser on a PC or your finder on a Mac and navigate to where you saved the samples. You can preview these loops, as we showed you earlier in this video, to choose which ones you want to work with. We suggest sticking to one of these four folders to begin with, because the loops will then be at the same tempo and be in the same key. What you'll notice is that the tempo of Reaper is different to the tempo of these loops. So look at the tempo of the loops that you've chosen before you drag any into Reaper, and click here to change the tempo of Reaper to match that of your loops. Type in the new tempo and then press enter. Now drag the loops in that you want to use. To zoom in and out in Reaper, you can use the scroll wheel on your mouse or the plus and minus buttons in the bottom right hand corner. Add in some different types of loops like bass and melodies to see what you can come up with. If you want to loop a certain section of your track, you can highlight it like so, and then press the loop function here. You're able to add effects to these loops like reverb and delay. Let's put a reverb on the melody. Click on FX on the melody track and type in reverbate. Double click on it to load the plugin. You can select the presets up here, like the intimate vocal, for example. And to be clear, you won't hear any reverb until you have selected one of these presets, so make sure you do so. Then the only control that you need to worry about in here is the wet fader. This allows you to control how much reverb is being applied to the melody. Minus infinity means that you're hearing no reverb, and bringing up the fader will apply more reverb to your melody. You can adjust this to your liking. You can then close this reverb plugin by clicking the cross in the corner. If you want to open the plugin again to make adjustments, then you can click on the FX button on the melody track. You can also experiment with adding more effects from these menus like delay, EQ and more by clicking add and then clear filter just here. You're also able to create your own drum and percussion patterns using the one shots provided in the sample pack. Open your File Explorer on a PC or your Finder on a Mac and navigate to where you've saved the sample pack. Come to One Shot Drum Samples and go to the Electronic-y folder. As we mentioned earlier, One Shots are individual drum hits that you can use to build up patterns. Drag in some One Shots onto empty audio tracks. You may have a red line at the start and end of each of the files that you've dragged in. This is a fade in. To remove it, hover over it until you see this icon and then drag it off the clip. If you find yourself stuck in a loop just like this, turn off the loop function or move the loop markers at the top of the screen. I'm going to show you how to repeat these samples. Say we want to have another instance of this sample, you can right click on it and select copy, right click where you'd like to paste it and select paste. Also, if you want to move items off the grid, you can turn off snap by pressing this button, giving you more flexibility over where you place your samples. Now feel free to experiment with the techniques that we've shown you in this video. Once you're ready to export your track so that you can have it as an audio file, make sure that you've turned off loop and press Ctrl A on a PC or Command A on a Mac to select all of your clips, come to File and Render. Name your file and click Browse just here to tell Reaper where to export your file to.
and you can leave these settings as they are unless you need to change them for any specific reason. Then select render one file. You'll find the audio file wherever you chose to save it. You can now progress on from this video and we'd love to know whether you're up and running with your new Scala. If you are, that's great, but if you still require some assistance, then we can direct you towards our support team.